Hello everyone, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on Cyberlink Power Director 11 and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do slow motion and fast motion as well as um, a few neat um, audio effects that you can do. I'm going to start with the slow and fast motion right now. I did try to do this in one of my previous videos but that was back when I had um, Cyberlink Power Director 10 and for some odd reason I was never able to get that feature to work in 10. If you guys um, have experienced this issue, um, I can say that it does work correctly in Cyberlink um, 11. So um, if you guys you know, uh, want to upgrade, that's the, that feature is now available. I'm not sure if you know that's an issue that everyone else had, but um, it never worked for me in the past. Um, so what you do is you put something into the timeline, you click on it, you go to power tools, and you, you get um, you know, a bunch of effects that you can do. And you just click on video speed, and just by simply um, moving this up and down, it will uh, slow up the video, at, or speed the video up, whichever you want. And, um, alright, let's put that back to normal. And uh, now I'm going to show you guys, um, you know, some some audio stuff. Now let's say uh, you're doing a video and you're recording, kind of like how I am right now with my voice. And um, while you recorded, the audio came out too quiet. Now uh, there was a way to do this, you know, in one of the older Cyberlinks that you could turn up the audio. But the problem I always faced while doing that is that the quality got a lot worse, and you know. Oftentimes the sound sounded distorted. Now there's a new way of doing it that makes it sound really good, and it, you can't even tell the difference. You you don't even know that um, you, you used the software to bump up the sound. Su the sound it makes it a lot louder, and it doesn't make the quality worse. You go to Edit Audio, and you gotta edit the audio with Wave Editor. It'll open up Wave Editor, and you got to make sure you highlight the whole thing. And all you do is just click simply click Boost, and um, it'll allow you to uh, hire. And it'll actually let you preview it too if you click Preview, and you, you'll be able to play um, your audio. Um, you could hire it pretty significantly here, as you can see. Um, what I would really do is, you know, stay around 8 and 6 for, um, if you're doing voice. I mean, but that's depending on how low your audio was to begin with. So, um, you know, you, you can experiment with that, you know, the, to determine uh, exactly how much you need to hire it. And, uh, you know, uh, once you're here and you've hired your audio, what you gotta do is you just simply X out of Wave Editor, and you want to click yes so it saves your changes and then it'll open up cyberlink and your changes to the audio you made will be applied down here and that's pretty much it it's very simple and um, I'll see you guys in my next video don't forget to go to legendaryreviews.com for game reviews, downloads and much much more